just before I leave Tallinn, I'm going to do my own little bit for Estonian tourism and make a video of the old town, which is just over here. Over this way, like less than five minute walk, actually you can see it. That's the hostel building. From here I can just see the sign that says negative 12 degrees. <laughs> and along this way we have one of the sets of gates into the old town and all these really pretty stalls of flowers. Real ones too, which is nice. <laughs> Not like in Lithuania. So over here are the gates. At night time they're all lit up with fairy lights. It's really pretty. I think they're from like the 14th or 15th century. Very sunny day today. But it's not melting the ice in the snow, of course. So you come through and naturally you have McDonald's because what else would you expect to find underneath a medieval wall? Ooh, snow. And <laughs> an eerie puppy. Eerie puppy. There's so many of them around. I'm pretty sure it translates to Authentic Estonian Bar. Along this way, we have some more wall. There's chunks of wall all over the place. I was saying I think it's the best old town, medieval town, I've seen anywhere, ever. And it turns out I was right, <laughs> because it's actually the best in the world. I don't know what they sell, but it smells incredible. Really gingery. Let's check this out. You could pay three euros to climb up those walls and go into the tower. Or you could do what I did <laughs> and go up some different ones for free where there's a cafe on top that you're supposed to spend money in but they can't make you the markets are so cold they have such pretty things and those socks right now <laughs> they look really good I have to say they are all exactly the same and I've come across like another three markets like this, all exactly the same, but you get that. Katarina oh. Kaik. Mm -hmm. How cool is this? It's very slippery, although it's full of grit now, it's so trodden on. It hasn't snowed in days, from what I can make out. But it's really cold still. Yesterday we were on a walking tour and spent quite a lot of time standing and listening on ice several inches deep or further up and our feet were so completely numb. These are tombstones from like the 14th century and they've been moved all around. Um, our feet were so numb 
we went into a church to look at it, which made us really happy. Not because the church was beautiful, which it was, but because churches have heaters. <laughs> so <laughs> we took off our shoes and put our feet on the heaters. And um, thought that they were turned off. That's how numb our feet were. When I took off my mittens and my gloves and put my hand on it, I burned my hand. I couldn't touch it for more than like a second. Because not only was it turned on, it was really hot and had our numb feet on it and couldn't feel it. We were so completely, literally frozen. Lots of cool souvenir shots. And going up this way to the town square. <coughs> lots of people in the town square in the evenings dressed up as like medieval peasants trying to make you go into ye olde Estonian restaurant and give them lots of money. <laughs> There's um, a lot more tourists in Tallinn than I've seen in ages, like since about August, which is to say there are some. I haven't seen many in the places I've been, but around here there's a few. But in my opinion, it's because it deserves them, because it's so cool. So here is the town square. That is the town hall. Pity about the Esprit. This building on the corner has been an apothecary or pharmacy since 1422, which is quite cool. And next to it, down the stairs, is where Sophie and I went last night for dinner to try some authentic Estonian cuisine, which was pretty good. I got adventurous and had Baltic herring fillets marinated. Sophie had garlic bread, which was also very authentic and different and adventurous because she'd never had Baltic garlic bread before. And it turned out it was completely different. It was like little pieces of deep fried rye bread. That was cool. But um, apparently, this place <laughs> is also really good. There's lots more old town. And behind here is the Tumpia, the hill that we went up. That's sort of the main part of the centre. <laughs> 